We're very happy to um, have with us uh, Dongjia Ni, um, who is Senior Product Manager at uh, Longji. And uh, it's wonderful to have Longji since two months. Uh, they are also leading our monthly um, top module list with their new Hamo 6 module. Um, we know at 22.4% uh, module efficiency, which is very high. And uh, we're very happy to have um, um, Dongxia talk about um, Longi life cycle quality, higher reliability, and lower carbon emissions. The floor is yours. Welcome. Okay, thank you, Michael. Thank you for the invitation from Taiyan News. Uh, so, uh, good morning, everyone. And my name is Dong Xia, and I'm from Longji Global Marketing Center. So, in the next, uh, I will introduce uh, our life cycle quality, uh, focusing on high reliability and low carbon emission. So, first, let me have a brief introduction about Longji. Uh, we are founded in 2000, and uh, our brand philosophy is steady, fast, and reliable uh, technology leadership. So uh, in the first half of this year, our operating income is around $7.5 billion. And uh, the net profit is uh, $966 million. <clears throat> our next is about our innovations. So we can see from, uh, from 2015, uh, we created the diamond white cutting technology, and which, uh, which, which was recognized as the technological revolution. Uh, in, re in recent years, and saving the PV industry over 3 billion yuan each year. And then we go to 2019. We created the M6 wafer standard, and which was recognized as the next generation of M2 module. And then uh, after a year, we introduced the M10 wafer standard, uh, we, we, which is the optimal design for utility applications. And in last year, we introduced the life cycle quality management, uh, which means the multiple assurance in innovation, quality management, and the customer experience. And this year, we introduced the HPVC cell technology, uh, that is uh, HIMO6. So here is our efficiency records, and uh, we can see we are we breaking world records more than seven times a year and covering all the mainstream technology, uh, PERC, TOPCOM, and HTAT. So, we try, and also besides, we also try to solve natural resources problems with leading technology, uh, such as we are now developing the Indian free uh, cell technology. So in the next, I will uh, uh, try to introduce the uh, what is like long life psychology, and because of the time limited, uh, today I will focus on three points: the innovative reliability, digital quality management, and uh, the low carbon emission. So we uh, for the life psychology, we practicing customer value first and optimizing quality and performance throughout the life cycle of products. So it will include, uh, including uh, four dimensions, the leading technology, and the, uh, the next is the creative quality management and the customer experience. And the last is the low carbon emission. And uh, it will also, uh, we will ensure the industry leading reliability runs through every product stage. So from the module design to mod, uh, material introduction, uh, and then to the uh, to the third-party certification and the lead manufacturing, and then we will have some value-added product experience. Uh, and the last is uh, long care. care. Uh, we will we will provide the very free after-sales service. So it will cover all all the stage. Uh, so all the uh, the full life cycle of our modules and our, and the PV plant. Uh, so first, let me introduce about our innovative reliability. So first, uh, let's think uh, a question that is uh, how to ensure the reliable operation of our PV plants and the diverse and extreme climate. So uh, as we know, uh, the global warming is affecting extreme weather, and uh, such as 
<coughs> Bonino and La Nina, uh, they will also cause some abnormal weather. So, and uh, so uh, be because the global warming uh, can cause some uh, or accelerate the extreme weather, and the extreme weather were challenging uh, the development of solar energy. So it, uh, it will require high reliability of our modules and our PV plants. But at the same time, the reliable solar energy uh, will help to reduce the carbon emission and mitigate the climate change. So it will slow in the global warming. So we can see from, uh, from the right, they were affecting each other. Uh, here is a mapping about the climate influence or module degradation. So uh, we uh, researchers uh, show that the modules degradation has some co-relationship with different climatic uh, conditions. And the floor graph above, we can see that the thermal mechanical degradation uh, is, uh, has the most impact on module performance and the degradation. And then that is the uh, photo degradation and the hydraulic degradation. Uh, and then uh, here we propose a uh, long distance solution. That is, we want to construct uh, the full scenario protection. Uh, we try to upgrade the reliability in a scientific method. So uh, we are now developing different test methods to simulate a comprehensive set uh, of, real, uh, of real, real world application scenarios, uh, such as diverse climate conditions and some catastrophic conditions. And uh, we do some outdoor conditional simulation and so uh, and, uh, set up a comprehensive sequence test. And also we want to try to improve test efficiency uh, by some failure mechanism, mechanism studies. So we always keep uh, filling in the gap of technical stance of our modules. And uh, we want to try to lead a more reasonable industrial trend. So and uh, but, but, but uh, as we know, establishing uh, a more reasonable test criteria or system, uh, it will be a long project, long term project. <clears throat> so next is about our full scenario reliability safeguarding. Uh, so we we will try to establish differentiated reliability test methods, uh, maybe according to the as we talked just now, according to some clip, uh, clip, uh climate distribution in the world. And uh, also we, uh, for example, we, we will construct some comprehensive aging tests uh, for some complicated climate applications. So, but uh, here we, we, we will propose that uh, reasonable module size is the first principle uh, as the reliability requirement. And also, uh, for, also for example, uh, here, uh, so for uh, here is a case study about the low temperature mechanical load test. So uh, as we know, when the snow covering on the module, actually uh, the temperature is not 25 degree. Uh, it may be minus 10 or minus 20. So here uh, we want to propose the mechanical load test should be conducted under low temperature, but maybe not, uh, not only 25 degree. So, so that we, uh, uh, we think that it would be more accurately to verify the product reliability. So uh, another case study is about the thermal damage. Uh, as we know, uh, the global heat waves appeared in this summer. And, uh, and we, uh, so the uh, so, so the module can reach uh, 85 degrees or even more. So, and uh, uh, we have taken lead in testing the module's capacity to withstand extreme weather, such as heat waves uh, and some high temperature environments. So we, uh, we pioneered in passing the IEC 62892 certification and also 63126 certification. <clears throat> and these are the stretch thermal test that is by increasing the test temperature of 10 to 20 degrees. Uh, another case study is about uh, the reliability innovations on our module, uh, on, our, on material property introduction. Uh, so we pioneered in the introduction of supplemental tests for junction bounce and PV glass. 
So for the junction bus, we introduced the thermal runway test uh, in last year. And uh, so, so that uh, uh, in addition to the diode thermal test, it will further reduce the risk of diode failure and even the junction bus burning. So after the removal of shading. And for the PV glass, uh, uh, we take the lead to bring the four point bending strength instead for the PV, uh, PV glass in, in introduction. So combined with the surface stress stand, we can further reduce the mechanical load failure. Uh, so uh, during the auto operation. Uh, here are some authoritative certification. We are the ITC top performer in all three categories, uh, including module reliability, module performance, module quality, uh, and uh, which are the, uh, the core criteria for holding the BNF 100 bankability. So next, uh, we are also we are the PVE or top performer in all three or uh, in all six reliability programs, and uh, yeah, it will include some stretch test by uh, several times of the IEC standard. So next, I will introduce our digital quality management. Uh, we have uh, established a smart and comprehensive quality control system uh, for the module manufacturing. So from the supply material examining to manufacturing process control and also the reliability monitoring. <clears throat> so besides, we also has uh, has constructed the uh, established the digital platforms uh, such as mask DKMS limits and also the artificial intelligence inspection system. Uh, try to making the quality management to be more transparency and traceability. So this is our digital quality management. And uh, uh, for example, the DQMS, uh, it is the quality control uh, management platforms that is goes through from the raw material to, uh, to after sales. And for the limits, uh, this is the central reliability analysis and the testing platform. <clears throat> and also the last is the artificial intelligence inspection. So recently, we uh, just uh, introduced the AI inspection step by step. Uh, we creatively applied the uh, AI technology for the quality inspection, uh, which means that we, uh, it will include, in, increase the productivity more than 20%, and it can highly decrease the inspection mistake made by uh, the traditional manual operation. And also, uh, as we know that the AI, uh, it has the AI forecast function and the self-learning function. So it will keep uh, improving the inspection accuracy and more efficiency. Our next is about our one module, one code. So on our, on our module nameplate, there is a unique QR code. So this QR code is uh, combined to our manufacturing, uh, manufacturing system, mass system. So this is the higher, uh, it has the higher end forgery function. And also uh, by scanning the QR code, you, uh, it means also the information platform, you can download all the product documents. And besides, also you will have some interactive experience. So the last part is uh, our low carbon emission. Uh, we always want to try to make our modules uh, uh, with high efficiency, but with low carbon emission. And uh, so, uh, from the left, we can see the PV project pay, uh, carbon payback time. Uh, so we uh, first, we want to try to reduce the total carbon emission uh, by reducing the module carbon footprint. For example, uh, selecting some low carbon raw materials and do some te technical optimization during our manufacturing process. And at the same time, we try to, uh, to produce our module with high efficiency to generate more green power. Uh, so on our side, we have developed some accurate calculation method for carbon emission reduction capacity to visualize the carbon balance of the full life cycle of peak projects. So on the, uh, on the right, there's a case study uh, so, uh, that is calculated by our self-developed calculator, GBCC version 2. And uh, uh, this case shows that uh, there is a, there's a project two megawatt hammer five in Yinchuan. So after the calculation, we can see 
uh, during the 30 years of operation of the uh, of this project, a total of 5.73 million tons of net greenhouse gas uh, emissions have been reduced, and equip, uh, that is equivalent to about 28.67 million trees. And also, uh, we calculated the carbon recovery cycle in about nine months. So next is about our energy uh, reduced action and a little carbon factory. Uh, and uh, this year we uh, about 267 uh, projects planned and implemented improvements. So covering all our uh, manufacturing chains uh, from got to module. And to, we try to sing in the electricity, uh, water, air, and other sources. And uh, for the for the zero carbon zero carbon plant of Longji Baosang, for example, in last year, uh, this factory keeps maintained high green electricity use that is around 90 percent. Uh, this is our global low carbon certificates. And uh, we always try to optimize the carbon footprint score to meet uh, of our modules to meet the uh, customer's green requirements. And we can see that we have already achieved that uh, global uh, green certificates more than seven. And uh, uh, another achievement is that about more than 7% of our factories, we have the LC distribution for uh, or LC assessment for the product manufacturer. Uh, and so in 2021, uh, uh, Longji's uh, uh, group-wide use of electricity produced by renewable source uh, was more than 40. So uh, recently, uh, we also published uh, the climate actions in this year. And uh, in the future, we will always to uh, have the sustainable management uh, as a core criteria for fairness design and uh, also including the continuous investment in innovation and uh, our product research, advocating an open corporate culture and promoting scientific industrial research. So, uh, and in the last, uh, I also want to say thank you to all our raw material suppliers and uh, uh, the third parties that we have cooperated and for their co work improving the reliability and the green supply uh, supply chain technical support. So uh, that's the end. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Dongcha. Very impressive what Long is all doing uh, regarding life cycle quality. Um, one question. So, um, what do you think is the most difficulty um, when you try to design uh, a reliable PV module? Because I think there are so many changes. You show, you've shown that you increased uh, efficiency seven times uh, uh, this year in terms of records. Um, so what are the key challenges uh, you're facing when you design these new high efficient modules and try to make them as reliable as possible for a long, long time. Yeah, so, yeah, so, uh, and thank you for your question. And also I wanted to say, uh, so right now we want to make the high efficiency module, but with high reliability. And so the most difficult is that if we want to construct, uh, as, we uh, as I talked just now, construct a more scientific method uh, to verify our module reliability and to try to ensure uh, that the module is reliable in the uh, for the operation in outdoors for 30 years. But how, how to construct this uh, reasonable uh, testing method system, this is really difficult because no one can answer uh, some questions that are apparent because, for example, some failure, uh, fail, uh, failure analysis model, uh, they are still in the theoretical uh, stage. So no one can verify it by some experiment or some other other ways. So this is, I think, the most uh, most um, most difficult. And also, uh, I want to say uh, this is a long pro uh, long term project. So we will last always. 
And uh, so in the, in the next stage, or, or maybe in, in the near future, uh, we also want to talk about that maybe there may be some new materials with more high reliability. So, uh, so, so that uh, they, they, can, they, are, they are available for um, module manufacturer to uh, apply these new, new materials so to improve the high reliability. Uh, and here we want to uh, ask that all our supply, uh, supply cooperator or third parties and all the, uh, even, even, uh, even the customers can join us to, together to finish this task to ensure the PV plant or the module reliability uh, in, uh, for the outdoor operation in 30 years. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay, then let's, uh, yeah, one question. So there are, might be some questions in the chat. If you have still some time to answer them, that would be nice. Uh, I'm sorry, maybe maybe the time is limited. So maybe next, oh, or I will check the, yeah, check the chat box after meeting. Okay, thank you.